This one looks big. Yup, that's big. Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, been a little while. The last time I did a video, I was out on the boat. It was like 30 degrees. Today, we've got ice. It's super cold. It was like minus 20 last night. It's only like minus five right now, but it's enough to make ice. And I'm out here, I, I uh, pegged my way out. So I got some line set up, uh, even caught a fish already, but I noticed that I did not do an intro yet. So here it is. And um, sorry if you've missed me, but it's been a little while. Since I've seen you last, I got married. Um, been doing a lot of work around our house and uh, just kind of waiting for ice to come. Did a little bit of hunting. I tried to film a video there, but I failed. Um, didn't even get cameras set up before I shot the deer that I wanted, so I uh, couldn't really do a whole lot with that. But uh, yeah, it's ice time now. I'm excited to be here and I'm uh, looking forward to the next couple of months. So stay tuned and maybe I'll teach you a couple of things. Okay, well, I thought my GoPro was recording. It might not have been, so you probably missed a bunch of uh, nonsense I was saying when I was getting out here. Anyways, it's first ice. Checked my way all the way out. We have three or four inches of ice. I uh, chipped away a nice big hole here for the live scope and for my active rod. I got that all tied up. I've got my old trusty rip and wrap just a small number four one and i don't know if you've ever watched any of my other videos but uh i'm not a color guy at all when i'm ice fishing i do think that a glow in the dark bait does make a big difference i got the live scope down there we got a fish about 25 feet away this is the bottom here like i said i'm going to use my active rod here when i pan the live scope around i saw some more fish about 80 feet back this way close up against that break anyways i'm gonna get my rods set up here quick um one pro tip you did miss i was talking about these gloves my good buddy sean um taught me this showed me this trick uh when we we're out in the boat when we we're fall fishing and uh you'd be surprised these are just surgical gloves that i bought from costco or whatever for cleaning when i'm cleaning ice castles in the winter but you'd be surprised it's you know minus i think minus four minus five right now my hands are totally comfortable and i just tied this bait up with the gloves on and they're completely waterproof so if i go to you know clear out my hole obviously it feels a little colder because i just put my hands in freezing water but they warm up really quick and they, my actual hands don't get cold it's just the gloves so this will shut off pretty quick and i don't have to worry about grabbing minnows with my bare hands and being all cold and having to put my gloves back on and getting them wet or uh you know grabbing a fish when i catch one and having to put my hands back in my gloves afterwards and be all cold and my gloves getting wet and when i go to pack up later all my stuff's wet and i'm cold and freezing and not having nearly as a good time as uh as I would with these. So pro tip if you're fishing either in the late fall when it's cold or ice fishing like this uh, these are great up to about minus 10. These hooks have barbs on them and when they try to go back through that bone with that barb um, it doesn't so it stays on a lot better than if you would put it through softer meat. All right Getting down there, ice fishing. First drop of the 23-24 season. The nice thing as well is these gloves still work with your touch screen. So this is my jig. And with these gloves, like I was saying with these gloves, I can even time and baits with these things, so I'm not having to take my hands and put them right out into the 
without having to take my hands and put them right out into the direct cold, I still have a little layer there. And you'd be surprised how warm these things keep your hands. Cut off the tag end and you're left with that. Now I'm going to take this minnow. I don't know if you can see, but there's a fin right there on my finger. I'm going to put this hook through where the bone structure of that fin comes down into the body. So it's got a little bit more to grab onto there. It's going to keep that minnow on a lot better if you get any, <clears throat> you know, short strikes or miss hook sets, anything like that. It's going to keep that fish on there or that minnow on there a lot better. So now I'm going to come over here. this guy down to the bottom and so we're fishing I think it's 35 feet or something like that jig just, jig just got down to the bottom <clears throat> I'm gonna loosen off my drag just like the other one so that if you get a fish it's not gonna pull the rod in the lake right away I'm gonna get my rod tip about where I would want it sitting in the bucket while it's on the bottom and I'm going to do one full reel up. I'm going to have that there. Set it down. Now if I get a bite, it's not going to pull that rod down. And I can watch it from, from over here. Why is I fishing so hard? I'm doing this for fun. Oh no! <sighs> that was like a pretty good bite too. Just I mucked it. Come on, do it. All right, my drag is not nearly tight enough. <clears throat> it's another good looking fish that's down there too. This one doesn't feel that small. Maybe it is, I don't know. That's a walleye. Almost lost that. Woo! First one, baby. You know what, screw it. This one is a keeper, I'm keeping him. Seventeen, so it's up to 45 centimeters. Between 35 and 45 centimeters. This guy is just under 44 centimeters. So we are, we are good. I'm gonna keep that guy. Oh, we got a fish over here. Confirmed and not a keeper. That one was a little bit uh, too heavy. The wind is starting to pick up now, which kind of sucks. It's getting a little colder. I guess I should mention I got here. I got one already. 
don't think that's the same fish, but it's not small. Oh no! Thing stopped me like halfway down. I guess that's what you get when you use a hook the size of a pea. Okay, so I got here just before sunset. Right now, you can see the sun is setting right now. This is what we call the witching hour. So it's like the first half hour before actual sunset is until half an hour after sunset when it's pitch black. And then this hour is kind of when everything goes down when you're ice fishing, it seems. Look at that sunset. Look at that. When I was a kid, I used to come down here after school use pretty much what we're looking at except for the live scope of course but I'd come down do a little hole even before I even had like an auger I just come down here and I kick in old holes from the day before and uh, try to catch a fish walk here with my rod kick in a hole put a bait down without even a minnow on it and catch a fish and um, Doing this for a living and coming back here still fishing the exact same spot. It's kind of cool. I'm just trying to keep my bait above them to try and. Oh no! Come on! Just love losing fish. I just heard the bucket rattle and I looked over, my rod was like almost in the lake. And it looked like it like let go of it, but by the time I came back over here, there's still weight on it. I don't know. 0 for 3 on this one. At least need like one more fish. <clears throat> fish. I hate saying fish like that. At least need one more fish. Just said it again. One more fish. Need one more. So I hate just bringing like one home because it's not nearly enough. There we go. <laughs> Got something. Okay, I'm gonna be more gentle with it this time, maybe. Not super gentle, but gentle enough. Gentle where. As soon as I got down to bottom, it had it in its mouth again. And every time I'm just pulling it out. I am sucking. It has been like, I don't know, seven, eight months since I've ice fished. Seven months for sure. So, we're breaking some rust off, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Turn around. Come and eat it. Put it in your face. Come on. No! Still there. Everything's fine. Still there. We're okay. I suck. I suck so bad. 
Okay, there's two. Now what? Come get it. Come on. Come get it. Come on. I'm being a mouth breather because I have a cold. So if you just hear me breathing for the entire video, sorry. Is my dead stick doing stuff? I think so. Yep. I'm gonna run him over here. If he's big enough to keep, I'll keep him. <clears throat> I doubt it. That one ate it. Why didn't the other ones? Nope. Too small. Okay, got one coming in. Coming in hot. Go! I even like let him have it. That was like what you're supposed to do. I just like swept into it. Did it how I'm supposed to. Just made a fool of me. Okay, come again. Do this. We've got two coming. Coming in fast. Come on. There we go. It might be edible. I don't know. Heck yeah! I still got my minnow head. I think that's edible. Yep, 15 in a bit. I'm actually really surprised that I still had that minnow head left after I missed that bite normally. Normally it'll be gone, but I got lucky there. I got 12 minutes. You guys probably can't see a whole lot. Sorry about that, but we're gonna try and catch at least one more while we're here. And then we'll pack up and call it a night. This one looks big. Yep, that's big. No, come on. What? That's mental. That's mental. I took my freaking minnow too. Oh, it was so big. Oh. As if. I come back out here with a tent. Hope you guys like walleye. Because that's what you're going to be watching for the next while. I hooked into like three fish that felt like awesome. I lost every single one. Alright, that's it. My two keepers, so success. Lost a lot of fish, not very success, but still got some days we're going to come back out here. We're going to try to make some adjustments with our hooks, uh, probably using bigger hooks, and see if we can't get our 
hookup ratio at least a little bit better because that was like that was super brutal okay so we just got back to the truck got everything loaded back up um that was actually really fun first time fishing ice fishing first time ice fishing for the year uh, i got a lot of bites saw a lot of fish there's fish everywhere um, from the time i got there until now um obviously a little frustrating not catching the big ones missing a lot of bites but that's the way it goes and so if you guys are new to this channel and you've never been here before my name is Jaden, and uh, i run an outfitting company here in kenora ontario on lake of the woods it's called northwest outfitters and um i offer ice fishing trips fishing trips um obviously do a lot of fishing by myself too and uh just taking you guys along for that journey so follow along with me and uh stay tuned for a lot more fishing videos like this i'm going to try to teach you guys some stuff um bring you along with the process of me learning things and um just try to try to bring you along for everything so appreciate you watching and uh we'll catch you at the next one